Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through TCP IP model. So basically the TCP IP model is just the same as if that we discussed in our previous lecture that is nothing but OSI model. But here we are having only four layers and each and the four layers are application layer, transport layer, internet layer and network interface layer. Okay, so these four layers use multiple protocols right to communicate with each other or to do multiple tasks, right? So basically that are represented in TCP IP model guys. Okay, I also don't know exactly the meaning of these things, but I'll be just explaining you guys because these things are really important. We'll be discussing about most of these things, guys. Like we'll be discussing about TCP IP, we'll be sorry, we'll be discussing about SMTP, TCP, UDP, we'll be discussing about FTP, HTTP, data, DNS, domain name servers. Okay, then we'll be dis discussing about SNTP. Okay, I wrote it here. Okay, we'll be discussing about IP protocols, we'll be discussing about ARP and we'll be discussing about RARP also. Okay, so these are some protocols guys. So basically, I don't know why they represent this diagram in this way. So basically, they'll be just representing the layers and those uh, protocols and they'll be calling it as TCP IP model. But I don't know exactly why they are calling it. But okay, so it's in textbooks also, it is written in the same way. So that's the reason why I have just drawn it here guys. Okay, so this is the TCP IP model with these are the layers and each layer is using some protocols. Okay, so I'll be just giving you some introduction guys. Okay, okay, just give me a second. Okay, okay, so let us go through it. So the first layer is nothing but application layer. So application layer is nothing but we discussed about it in detail in our previous lecture and even in data communications also. Okay, so basically application layer is nothing but whenever you are using something, so the application which you are using will be communicating with some layer. That is nothing but all your components which you are using, that code or everything will be working on something, right? So that layer is nothing but application layer. That's like the user interaction with the application, that layer is called as application layer. So the first protocol that is popular is nothing but SMTP. So it is used for sending mails, guys. So it is po it, the full form is simple mail transfer protocol. Okay. Similarly, FTP, file transfer protocol to transmit files. HTTP, hypertext transfer protocol. So this is nothing but whenever you are using a website, you will be first writing HTTP colon slash slash www.educationforfun.com like that. So this HTTP is nothing but you are requesting for a HTTP files. That, those are sorry, HTML files. Those are nothing but the web browser compatible files. So that comes under HTTP and DNS, domain name server or domain name service or some few people will be calling it as domain name system also. So it is used for linking in between the IP address with the domain names. Okay. Similarly, we are having a TFTP that is nothing but for Telnet and RIP and SNMP, SNNP. Okay. So basically these are the things which use a TCP that is nothing but wired connections and whereas a DSN and TFTP, RIP and SNNP, they will be using UDP connection guys. That is wireless. Okay, so basically transport layer to you can transfer the data in two ways that is nothing but TCP and UDP. So TCP is nothing but wired connection, UDP is nothing but wireless connection. So the applications for these are nothing but this. Got it? Yes. Okay, so whenever you are trying to transmit something, what do you need guys? Sorry for that. So you need an IP address guys. So remember that a complete network will have a single or a solo IP address. So basically each device will also have an IP address, but the main part of the IP will be the same. Okay, sorry for that. So assume that you are having your home Wi-Fi. So assume that it is having the IP address 168.7. Here is the number of the device guys. Okay, so here if it is a one, that is your first device. If it is three, that is your third device like that. So the number of devices connected or occupied, there's plots, slots in that way. Okay. So that is nothing but internet layer we will be using IPv and we will be using these two commands to do that. Okay. So similarly at the end that is nothing but network interface layer. So here we will be having some ATM asynchronous transmission mode. So these are some modes guys. That is nothing but 802.11 wireless LAN frame relay and ethernet. Okay. So now let us go through some theoretical parts. So I have just explained you everything right. Okay. So now let us go through the theoretical part. So application layer protocols define the rule when implementing a specific network application to provide the accurate and efficient data delivery. So few of them are nothing but FTP file transfer protocol, telnet that is nothing but remote control guys. So whenever you want to connect to your system or to your friend's system and control it, then you will be using a command called telnet or protocol telnet. Okay. Okay. So SMTP is nothing but simple mail transfer protocol, HTTP hypertext transfer protocol that's used for web browsers. So N comprises same functionalities of OSI 
that is nothing but model layer presentation layer application layer and session layer so basically this single application layer is a combination of all the layers of top three layers guys so until session layer just give me a second i'll just look at it so up until session layer all these layers are now combined into an application layer that is nothing but a single layer now in this tcp ip okay so now let us go through transport layer so in transport layer we told you we are having two types of communication tcp udp tcp is nothing but wired communication udp is nothing but wireless okay tcp is nothing but physical connection tcp provides a function to allow virtually existing all the virtual circuits okay okay similarly udp is nothing but connectionless divides the chunk of data reassembles them segments them into original chunks and provides the functioning reordering them and data resending so offers them to buffer the bits so udp is nothing but wireless so you need to take multiple precautions while trans transmitting data wirelessly guys because it may reach to destination properly or not so you should keep them all in your uh, rules right okay similarly functions are same as the transport layer so basically whatever tra transport layer can do this uh, udp can also do okay synchronous so synchronous synchronizes the source and destination computers to set up a session between them okay and the last layer is nothing but the internet or network layer okay so the both lower layers we have just combined them in theory guys okay so host to network layer it is nothing but it is a lower most layer of tcp ip reference model so it combines the data link layer and physical layer so here we are sorry here we are combining the data link layer and the okay okay sorry guys just give me a second okay so here we are combining the data link layer and the physical layer right so these two layers are now called as the host layer that is nothing but our last layer network interface layer or internet layer okay okay so here we will be using some kind of connections like we need to transfer land node to node right so we'll be using some kind of networks like we will be we will be having wan man and lan right so we'll be using any one of them to transfer the data okay so i gave just an introduction about the tcp ip model right guys okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea so in the next lecture we'll be continuing guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching